Hello! In this video, we'll learn the basics of how to use two-dimensional arrays. In C, a 2D array is like a list of lists in Python, except that the size is fixed, just like one-dimensional arrays in C. We can visualize them as a matrix, like shown. When we use 2D arrays, we also declare and use two constants, numrows and numcalls, for the height and width of the matrix, here, 3, and 6. To process an entire 2D array, we use a nested loop. The outer loop is over the rows, and the inner loop is over the columns. As a side note, it's also possible to make what are called ragged arrays, where each row contains a different number of columns. Ragged arrays are more difficult to create, requiring the use of lots of pointers and malloc, so we won't study them. Here's a simple example of declaring and displaying a simple 2D array of integers. We start off by defining constants for the number of rows and columns, and then declare the array. The size of each dimension is given in square brackets. The number of rows always comes first. Declaring an array reserves space in memory, but it doesn't set values to anything, which is unlike Java. To display a whole 2D array, we use a nested loop. The outer loop executes once for each row. Within each row, the inner loop prints all the elements of that row. After printing the row, we print a new line to get ready to print the next row. Let's see this in Eclipse. Here's the same code in Eclipse. You'll notice on line 20 here that where we're actually doing the printing, in order to access an element of a 2D array, what we do is we use two square brackets, one with the row, which is i, and one with the column, which is j. Let's run it. You'll notice that it prints garbage. All right, remember that declaring an array doesn't initialize it. If we want to initialize it, we need another nested loop where we explicitly set everything to zero. So I've already done that. I have the code right on my clipboard here. So if I paste it in, we see the key line within a, our nested loop here is just setting everything to zero, like we said. Everything else in the loop is the same. I'll run it again this time. And indeed, we get all zeros, just like we hoped. Well, that's all for our introduction to 2D Arrays. Until next time, I'm Matt. See you later.